This video is going to show you how to use the intraoral mouth mirror for several purposes. In dentistry, we can use a mouth mirror to retract and protect soft tissues such as the tongue, lips, or cheeks. We can use it for indirect vision. So we'll look at the teeth in the reflection of the mirror. And we can use the mirror for illumination to light up dark areas of the oral cavity. There is a fourth use that dental assistants typically don't use. It's reserved for hygienists and dentists, and that's transillumination. That's when you use the reflected light to illuminate the teeth, and this could potentially help diagnose cavities or cracks in the teeth. So our focus as dental assistants is indirect vision, retraction or protection, and illumination. For indirect vision, you're simply going to position yourself as the operator, and get as close to your patient as possible, hold your mirror in your non-dominant hand. So I'm operating as a right-handed operator. So I'm going to hold the mirror in my left hand. Now you could use indirect vision for really any tooth surface. Right now, I am looking at the linguals of the maxillary teeth. So I'm not leaning over the patient. I'm sitting upright in the operator stool with my head slightly tilted downward so I can look in the mirror reflection. If I'm sitting in a 12 o'clock position and I want to look at the facial surfaces of the mandibular teeth, I can use the reflection in the mirror to view those teeth. So anytime you cannot see the teeth with a direct line of sight, use your mirror. It will take practice to get used to looking at a mirror image. Everything you do in the mirror is reversed from what you would expect. But with some training, you will get used to that. So indirect vision is one of the primary uses of the mouth mirror. Another common use that we're using the mouth mirror for is to retract or protect the soft tissue. So you're going to use the reflective surface of the mirror to retract the soft tissue, to pull it out of your way. Now, if you need to retract and use the reflective surface, you could retract this way. So I can retract and use indirect vision at the same time. They do make double-sided mouth mirrors. They're not very common, but they have a reflective surface on both sides. So retracting the cheeks. And don't be afraid to get your mirror really in the oral cavity so you have a good grip and can pull that cheek towards you to retract it. You could also use the mirror to retract the tongue. When retracting the, to the tongue, don't just push down on the tongue. That could elicit a gag reflex on your patient. We want to tuck the mirror between the tongue and the alveolar ridge, and then pull the tongue to the side. So I'm pulling the tongue away from the lower right teeth. I can also pull it the opposite direction, tuck it between the tongue and the alveolar bone, and then pull it towards you. So this moves the soft tissue out of the way so we can see more easily. It also serves as protection. When we're running the hand pieces or using sharp instruments, we don't want to 
pierce or cut our patient with those sharp items. So retraction and protection is another primary use for the mirror. The last use that is going to be common for the dental assistants to use is reflection. Using the mirror surface to reflect the operatory light into areas of the oral cavity that are in shadow. So what we see here, the operatory light is on and it's illuminating the facial surfaces very well. So what's in shadow is the lingual surfaces of these mandibular incisors. What I can do is I can take the mouth mirror, place it in the mouth, and I can catch that light and bounce it off the mirror to illuminate the lingual surfaces. So you can see the mirror bouncing that light off of the tooth surfaces. So it aids in illuminating these darker areas of the oral cavity. And I'll switch the camera view so you can see the operator view of this. So from the operator view, you can see that the lingual surf surfaces are in shadow. I can place my mirror and I'm reflecting the light off the mirror surface onto the teeth, making it easier to see. So this is without reflection and this is with reflection. You can see the light travel up and down the teeth. In direct vision, you can see the lingual surfaces reflected in the mirror. When I tilt it down to capture that operatory light, we can see those lingual surfaces become illuminated. So those are your three uses of the intraoral mouth mirror. In direct vision, protection or retraction, and illumination. Thanks for watching.